Hello, I like to show you shift reduce parsing with deduction rules. Shift reduce parsing is also occasionally called bottom up parsing because you start at the input string and then with the help of the production rules you work your way upwards in the tree to the start symbol. The shift reduce parsing cannot handle app empty productions because theoretically there are infinitely many empty strings between the symbols or before and after so the algorithm could assume infinitely many empty categories in these positions but um, to have a grammar that allows that contains the empty word it is occasionally allowed to have an epsilon production for the start symbol if the start symbol does not appear in any right hand side of any other rule. The items are the same as for top down passing, so you have a stack uh, that consists of symbols which starts off empty. And we have an index that tells us how much of the input string we have already processed. We start off with, an, with this item where the index is zero because we don't have seen anything of the input string and the empty stack. And the only thing we can do in this situation is to perform a shift step. Shift means we just move the next symbol from the input string onto our stack for further processing. So this is what the shift um, rule does. And whatever already is on the stack just is placed, just persists and uh, the next input symbol is put um, in front or after, however you see it. So in this case the stack is empty, so the A will be the only symbol on the stack and the index is increased by 1. Now we have this new item and now we can just immediately perform another shift step. So now as you can see the A remains on the stack and the B is then placed on top of it and again the index is increased by 1. The other thing we can do with this item is, as you can see here, the A, um, the terminal A is below, is the only item below the non-terminal A in this tree, and it's only the right-hand side of this production rule. So whenever this is the case, at all symbols that are on the right, on the rightmost side of the stack of the item. If these symbols are the same as the right hand side of any production rule, we can replace this, these symbols by the left hand side of the rule and this is called the reduce step. So let me move the item to the reduce rule. And now in this case the terminal A is the only symbol on the stack and then we can and the at the same time the right hand side of the production rule and we can replace it by the left hand side which is which is our non terminal a and while the index stays the same now this is everything we can do with item 2 now with item 3 this will not lead to a successful trace because we have missed out to do anything with the terminal A before and we cannot go back after this. So the next we can only do further processing with the rightmost symbols on the stack and in this case it's the terminal B. And the terminal B is also the right hand side of the non-terminal B rule. So um, we could do further processing with the terminal A if the A would appear in any right hand side of the rule which would allow us that but this is in, with this grammar not the case.
we can only now replace the terminal B on the rightmost side of the stack by the non-terminal B with help of this production rule. And then we get this new item. Now we continue with item 4. Item 4 is the situation where we have seen the terminal A and then reduce it to the non-terminal A and now what we can do is to perform a shift step in this situation. And then the next input symbol, which is the B, will be put on top of the stack, or in this case on the rightmost side, while the index is increased by 1. Item 5 doesn't allow us further processing. Item 6 now um, corresponds to a situation where we have seen this non-terminal A and this terminal B. And now we want to reduce the terminal B to the non-terminal B. So we are reducing this item. And the terminal B is again the right the right hand side of this production rule. And thus we can replace it by the non-terminal B, which is our left hand side. Now we have seen we have on the stack both the non-terminal A and the non-terminal B. Which is which are also the right hand side of our of this production rule. That means we can perform another reduce step and replace both A and B by the non-terminal S from the left hand side of this production rule. Now this item is our uh, our start symbol on the stack as only symbol and the index is the same as the length of our input string and this is exactly our goal item. That means our passing process was successful and the, uh, the input string is generated by this grammar and um, yeah passing was successful and this was shift reduce passing with deduction rules.